Hello you guys, it's your girl Asia Beja, Simply Asia, whatever you may know me as, and today I am back with another video, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I tone my bleached hair. Now, with that being said, let me start off by saying I am in no way a professional hairstylist or someone who colors hair on a regular. I just color my own hair, and I do what works for me. So today I'm going to be showing you guys that. But what works for me may not work for you, so just keep that in mind while trying these steps if you do attempt. Now, let me start off by giving you guys a little background and how I got this platinum yellow looking color. So about two weeks ago, no, actually like a month ago, I think it was going on a month, yeah. I bleached my hair using a 40 volume developer and a L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach. I will leave everything down below in the description box. I will leave, you know, from start to finish, from a month ago to now, what I did and how I achieved these colors. So about a month ago, I bleached my hair using a 40 volume developer, which lifted it. From my natural or it wasn't even natural. I had dyed my hair black and I had it like that for months. So it lifted black hair significantly, but it wasn't this light like how I wanted it. So about, oh, it was like the next day. So the next day I bleached it again and it lifted it a little bit, but it still wasn't what I wanted. But I toned it anyway. I was like, you know what? This will do for now. So I toned it and it was like, eh, okay, whatever. So I wore it like that for like two, almost three weeks. And then last night, me and Nate ran to Target and I got two boxes of the L'Oreal Feria Extreme Platinum. So I was like, you know what? It's already light. I'm sure if I use box dye, it will just lighten it to where I want it to be, especially a platinum box dye. So... I did that and here we are now as you guys can see it is very very light I mean it still has some like really yellowy spots here but for the most part my hair is like white like in like the camera's not doing it any type of justice and it's probably like the angle I'm at too but I mean it is white like white so with that being said I'm just gonna jump right into video and show you guys exactly what you'll need and how you can successfully tone your hair. All right, you guys. So as you guys can see, I am taking the comb and I am parting a line down my head. I part my hair into four sections and I did not comb it out. Well, at least I didn't comb out the top part, but as you can see in this next clip, I am combing out the back part of my head. So here I am just showing you guys the toners that I used. I used the T11 and T18 by Wella. I did use all four boxes. I mixed them all together. So here you'll see me making my toner mixture. The box says that you're supposed to use one part toner to two parts developer. I do the simple method of using my toner bottle as a developer measuring cup in a way. So I just pour the toner in, then I do two bottles full of developer. That way you get a perfect mixture every time. After you're done pouring in your toner and developer, um, you just want to start mixing. I had to open the door because the fumes were so strong and my bathroom is very, very small. So I almost like died because it was so strong, it was burning my eyes. But you just want to mix your developer and toner together until you get the jelly-like consistency as I will show you guys. I 
almost forgot you can't forget your gloves so from here on out you'll just see me applying the toner to my hair i like to use a lot of products when doing stuff like this i don't know about y'all but i like to make sure all of my head is evenly coated and that each strand is getting products so that's why I bought four boxes so I knew I would have enough because when I get two or three sometimes I won't have enough by the time I get to my other side of my head because I like to use so much oh, shit. and just for those that don't know make sure you don't wear none of your good clothes because this will drop on your clothes and stain it but as far as like it dropping on the counters floor or walls this will not stain your walls or counters as long as you wipe it up within a good amount of time. Now I'm just showing you guys what the toner looks like once my whole head has been coated. As you can tell, it is purple already. And then there's me with a like produce bag on my head. <laughs> Y'all know black people always gotta be type of bag. <laughs> Here I am using the sink and I am washing the toner out of my scalp. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so. In this clip, I'm just standing in front of the mirror, checking this color out, getting a feel for it, like, eh, is it what I wanted, blah, blah, blah. But I will tell you guys, I'm happy with the results. The white platinum was just a little bit too light for me, so this is the perfect amount of, like, ash, yet still golden kind of look vibe, you know, you know? So keep in mind that this is after multiple bleaching processes plus using a box dye, which I probably should not have done. But my curls, I did not expect them to bounce right back. And you know, it will take some time. But in this clip, I'm just showing you guys me applying some deep conditioner and letting it sit on my head for literally all day and all night. Like deep conditioning will be your best friend after bleaching or dyeing your hair of any type of sort. So fast forward to a few days later and I'm deep conditioning my hair again in this clip and I'm taking it out of the ponytails just to show you guys what my curls are looking like and what type of like state my hair is in at the moment. my hair styled with just some leave-in conditioner as you can see curls are popping not all the way fully back which you know is expected but they're still popping and I just want to thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and love you guys so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you see you next time